Yeah, I remember this guy came up and he's like, are you like a celebrity or something? Because people aren't used to seeing stuff like this, but the mechanics of it aren't that complicated. When you break it down, it's easy for a girl to be receptive to a pretty girl. It's easy for her to agree to go to the dance floor. It's easy for them to dance close. And when they're dancing close, it's easy to start kissing, especially if the girl's telling her she's pretty and showing interest in that way. And then it's easy for you to be like in with the group instantly, and then you can kind of direct the logistics and the objections, bring the other girl in if needed. Hello guys, John Anthony here and Liz. We can use her real name now that Modern Life Dating exposed it. Thanks bud. And we got our little pal over on the side direct, <laughs> directing the camera. She was just fixing the stripper pole. We have a stripper pole in the house now and the ladies are taking pole dance class for exercise and it is really cool. We're thinking about making an OnlyFans for the house, uh, Andrew Tate style as well. And we have our little Colombian friend that comes over. And she, she's like, don't say Colombian friend. I don't want people to know who I am. It's like, there's a lot of yes. Colombian people in Brazil. Okay, so uh, we were writing on the whiteboard the other day. We were trying to add up how many threesomes we had. And we ended up counting 34. And we, we started having them. We started dating in February 2020. Uh, and at the time of this recording, it's like middle of May of 2021. But our first threesome was May of last year, I remember. Mm -hmm. And then that was the first threesome you ever had of your life. But then we charted on the whiteboard like two or three months ago. And we came up with 34 different girls that we had had new threesomes with uh, from memory. So I just wanted to go through and, and talk about our, our general game plan. Because a lot of guys ask me on my mastermind, they're like, hey, I want to start having threesomes like this. How do we go about it? This and that. Also, for the record, I don't think any of these other coaches are having threesomes ever. Okay, they don't show any proof of that or ever talk about it. And we are literally ha having like nine or 10 girls on threesome rotation. We'll go over how we built the threesome rotation as well. So before we continue, please subscribe below if you're not already a subscriber, press the notification bell. Oh, we have a John Anthony shirt for you too. We should, well, it looks better with the tits out, I guess. Uh, press the notification bell uh, for the alerts of those new videos every single day. Also, if you want to master the game very fast, jump on a free 30 minute call with me. I am transitioning off those calls within the next week. So I have more time with the ladies here. And, but you can have your, your last chance talk with me on those intro calls, uh, free 30 minute call, link in the description. I'll tell you how you can get you good very fast. So the typical game plan is we would either match a girl on Tinder or we would walk up in real life. The way we would do it, like let's go over club street and then online and then how we retain. So this will be like three some blueprint video. So basically in the club, I would have her approach first. It, well, actually backing up even further, you need a bisexual girlfriend or main rotation girl. Okay, so once you're seeing a girl already, you can just float the idea like, hey, would you ever be open to, to trying something with a girl? If she's like, no, never, then just say, okay, I was just curious. If they're open to it, then you say, okay, let's, let's try to get a girl sometime. So the way you would do it is you would go to a bar club, have the girl approach, and then what did I tell you? Just tell her like she's pretty, flirt a little bit, just be bubbly, fun, etc. Then it's good if, if there's a dance floor in the club, take the girl to the dance floor, dance close, which is usually gonna lead towards a makeout. Once she's making out with the girl, then I come in and I say, hey, me and my girl think you're really sexy, right? So now you're already in because since you're with this girl that she's already approved of, well, well she's approved of the girl instantly, but since this girl's approved of you, more importantly, now you bypass her value approval circuitry, her attraction circuitry, her, her safety concern circuitry, et cetera. A lot of the objections that come, like when a girl, uh, when you try to bring a girl home, a lot of the object objections are coming from a place of the girl wanting to make sure she feels safe and not awkward and not like, you know, anything's gonna, gonna be problematic. So it's actually a lot easier to take a girl home with another girl as well. Mystery said that a female wing, which she referred to as a pivot, is stronger than any, even your best male wingman. Because you can make like girl code with the thing, she can go into the bathroom with the girl, you know, like this and that. You can, I even have her approach girls that are in the bathroom, like the girls go in a group into the bathroom. I can have her go in there and like just talk to the girl one-on-one -on -one in the bathroom. So from there, it's just logistics and objection handling. So I'll just say, hey, we live close by. We should all go there and hang out. Okay, if she has objections, you train your girl on basic objection handling or you handle the objections yourself. Okay, and we, we've pulled all kinds of girls like that. We pulled, let's go through the, the daytime one. We pulled a girl that, was, what was? The, Which one? The one that, you know, that almost lived with us. That we oh, took home okay. from brunch. Okay, okay. She was like a 9.5 or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, she was so, 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 so hot. So she was there. Nice. It was, she turned out to be there with her uh, brother, 
brother, was it her brother? Was her brother and her brother's wife, right? So it's the three of them. And she was super hot. And we were talking to her and then we're like, we should go and hang out. And she's like, no, I'm with my brother and his wife, blah, blah. Okay, we just live like five minutes away. Just come with us for a little bit. And she's like, oh, I'm not sure. She ended up coming and then ended up banging us for like seven hours. And then we That's saw her, a whole, we saw her a whole bunch more. Um, so it's really just a matter of approaching, having the girl like your girl, which happens pretty easily if your girl is pretty and, and being bubbly and fun. And then you just, uh, direct logistics objection handling, handling like you would in a normal pull. Um, I think you guys are like kissing in the cab and stuff like that a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. And then, um, let's see. And then after you close one of the girls, then you can make a group chat. Okay, so we use WhatsApp in Brazil, but you can do this on SMS as well. A group chat with you, your girl, and the new girl you just had a threesome with. And then you can um, keep it warm, so to speak, but by just like messaging, flirting now and then, sending sexy pictures of you guys, and having your girl set up the the next hangout. So we would see each of these girls like once a week. Do you have anything to add? Any of that process? In terms of like the pickup and the approach? Normally like she's usually afraid a lot of the times in, in, during the day because she's like, oh, she's walking the other direction. Oh, like, you know, you're always like making up, like just like the students that I coach do as well. It's easy, you know, it's not always gonna be like the girls walking directly towards you, smiling and like stopping and waiting for you to like talk to her. You usually have to interrupt her while she's texting or, or ask her to hang up her phone for a second or call the person right back or tell her to take her headphones out or get her to stop if she's walking on the street. Sometimes they're walking up ahead or, or off like this and you need to go up and around. So you need to like make the approach happen. Follow the old school three second rule. Don't try to be in the exact perfect situation because that's normally not, never gonna happen, it, it, you know. But it's easy and, and I, used to do that as well but it's you need to remind yourself that it, most interactions will go well like the, the most people are receptive and this and that especially if you're you're being chill so uh the, the purpose is just to do it i i do it too much i think for you because i'm like conditioned to like approach every attractive girl i see within reason where she just would rather do it like now and then sometimes. Yeah, now and then with like the girls that I consider to be like very, 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 very my type. Because I have a certain type. Like that girl in the grocery store? Like the one with the big tits and ass? Yeah, that one's nice. That like, one's yeah, like nice. nine, five yeah. type girls. Yeah. Um, then with the online strategy, we're on, what were the three, because I had her set these profiles up. What were the three some apps we're using? Three fun? Three for fun. Three for fun? Yeah. I think it's called fun. three fun. Oh really? I, I thought it was three for fun. Okay, what else? It was like three fun. Oh, there's like two more that you can like put in the. Those were Brazilian specific. No, those are, are Which like ones? worldwide. I need to check on my phone, but they are like not. Uh, it's Yelts or something like this. Uh, there, there's not a lot of people over there. Okay. Is there is more people in uh, like the city is crowded? Like there's. Were you in field? Band, like field is one, I think. Field. Yes, yeah, fields. Field. F E E L D. Um, but basically, we're on a, a few different threesome apps, and you can make a, a joint profile as a couple, and then. You just message the chick, and then another important aspect is you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it. So you're like, let's all, let's all hang out and, and see what happens. So I usually invite the girls straight to the house, and then we just all hang out. Like, I don't drink anymore. The girls will have like wine or champagne or some shit like that. We all just flirt. And then the way that you go in to make the move, typically like I just say, wow, you guys are really sexy together or, or you guys look really pretty together, this or that. Like I, I'm really curious how you, like I'm really curious to see you guys kiss or like I, I, like you should check, babe, to see if she's a good kisser. Mm -hmm. And then you're always, she was, she's always polite and just ask permission like, oh, is it okay? Like, oh, is it cool? And the girl's like, yeah, see? Mm -hmm. And then like they start kissing and then I come in and we triple kiss and like goes further like that. Or for a while we were having her just like take her, you were like showing your tits, like, you were like, I would be like, hey, show her your yeah. your boobs. And then she would like show the girl her boobs. And then I would say, hey, like feel them, like see if you like them. And then she would like be touching her tits. Yeah, because we would be talking about it. So yeah, yeah, we'd be talking it's about it. Like, it's inside of the context of talking about it. It's not like, oh, show your boobs. Oh, okay, yeah, my yeah. boobs are here. No, it's <laughs> like, oh, we're talking about, oh, do you have nice tits? Oh, yes, how about your, yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's nice. We get but it the girl, so the girl be like squeezing her tits and then I'd be like, yes. oh, her nipples are sensitive. She likes her nipples to play with. So then the girls, I touch her and nipple. And then he started like to be like, And then I'd be like, oh, suck her nipples. She likes that. <laughs> and then like, so she'd be sucking her nipples. And then obviously it's like, like done, done deal at that point. <laughs> She's laughing over there. We're gonna suck your nipples right after this video. Mm. We have a bunch of we have a bunch of people coming over. So for, no idea for a party. Nice, um, Okay, so 
To, okay, so that's the game come back to the house. We went over how to make the group chat to keep the retention part going. So the online portion, the other part, here's the sequence that I'm using. So like on my personal Tinder, let's say I get a match. I used to say to the girl after we'd like move to the phone number or, or we'd go from the, the app to the phone and we'd be flirting, I used to say like, oh, are you bisexual? And then if she was, I would try to introduce the idea of a threesome. But I, I bypassed all that. Now I do it more subtly, but I like bring it into the frame easier. So I'll just say, hey, I'm with uh, one of my friends. In Portuguese, it's easier. I can say amiga and that means female. But like in English, I would just say, hey, I'm with a female friend and she thinks you're really pretty. Do you want to see pictures of her? And the girl's always like flattered and, and they usually say yes, okay? And if they say no, like whatever, then she's probably not that interested. But, I, but I'll say like she, think, like she wants to hang out with us. You can like push it a little further. But usually they'll say yes. So then I'll send good pictures of her and they'll be like, wow, she's beautiful. And I'll be like, she wants to see good pictures of you too. She sends pictures and then I'm like, she thinks you're really pretty too. She wants the three of us to hang out, right? So now the girl's like, oh, and then, and then if there's any objections, you deal with those, but otherwise you just have her come straight over. We all hang out and then you just do the standard escalation stuff and then put them in the group chat. So, so the main sources are going to be Tinder, the threesome apps, cold approach during the day and at the bars and clubs. And all this, the, the standard game stuff still applies. So like remember the night there was like a group of uh, three girls. She started making out with one of them. Like remember the girl that like came outside in the, oh, in the club. Yeah, yeah. She started making out with one of them and then she took us back to her group. Then you started making out with another girl in the group mm -hmm. and then I was kissing them too. And we thought this was like a done deal. It was like a group of three girls yeah. and the third girl was like talking to some random guy at the club and we just didn't pay attention to her. We got both those two girls on board, uh, the other two to come on, uh, on board to come back with us. And then like we're all going out like to get the cab and all this shit and it was towards the end of the night. And we thought it was like a done deal because we had both been making out with these two girls and they both really liked us and they're both down to come back. But the game is unforgiving when you um, fuck up strategy and skip steps and stuff like that. And we hadn't really talked at all to the other girl. And then that other girl turned out to be like the decision maker and like the, the one in charge, like the alpha female of the group. And she's like, oh, we're not going anywhere. Like, we don't know these people, like mm -hmm. this and that. And, it, and she was just, it's and just- was this other guy like talking to her at the same time. Yeah, but, it, but it's just because we hadn't won her over. We hadn't done our, uh, our proper work in the poll to, to win over that other girl in the group or even find out how they knew that girl. Normally you would say, hey, how do, you, how do you guys all know each other? This and that, you would introduce yourself. You would sense if that girl was being protective or like trying to, interfere or whatever else and then you would deal with that accordingly but it snuck up to the last minute and then we actually missed the pull because the girl like took them off to like another bar like down the street that was still open or whatever but like they but she was like cock blocking it hard so we didn't even we didn't even bother going yeah and she was kind of rude like she was it's very like straight to us like yeah. no let's not go with these guys because they are we don't know them and she was like very but yeah that's a standard shit you could run into even when you're trying to do a one-on-one -on -one poll so like the standard game stuff still applies you're going to have more compliance in general because you're with an attractive female and it's a lot easier for her to like already get in really easy because there's like no barriers and then you're like coming in along with her i remember in 2015 in san diego i had this bisexual girlfriend and we would just um just go up to groups of two like this all the time and we would pull foursomes from the club as well so the way that we would do this when there's a group of two in the club, um, and we need to put up that, that whiteboard screenshot of the, <laughs> of the 34 different threesome girls. And it's probably over 40 now, because yeah, there's, there's yeah, been more. Yeah. Um, you're part of that. Yeah, and you weren't <laughs> in the board. <laughs> um, you're so lucky, right? <laughs> Um, no, but so what we would do is we would approach groups of two, exactly the same way that I would talk about running it before. She would t uh, talk to the one, one that she liked the most, tell her she's pretty, bring the dance floor, make out. I would come in, we both think you're really sexy, but then you have this uh, friend that was part of the original group of two, and then I would say, oh, like, we should see who's the better kisser, babe, her or her friend, right? And I'm like, here, take turns, like, see who's the better kisser. So then they would start kissing back and forth, or I'd say to this girl, like, oh, don't let them have all the fun. You should go in two. So then, uh, I remember this one time specifically in this, in this club in San Diego. It's literally my hot chick who's all exotic, all these tattoos and shit. Um, and then these other two hot chicks. And she's taking turns making out with them and then I'm making out with, with different ones of them. And then we're like quadruple kissing and triple kissing and all this stuff. And it for, people formed like a semicircle around us and we're like filming and shit. And the girls, the three of them were like dancing and making out. And what I did, being a fucking asshole, was, was since they were all distracted, I started going out and get like random phone numbers from girls that were like on the perimeter like watching all this. Yeah. It's like when it's like it's like it's like when I it's like when I have like uh, hot chick multiple hot chicks living in the house and I'm like still bringing over other hot chicks and getting, and getting more and they're like why can't you just be happy with us I am happy with them but it's fun to keep banging other hot chicks too so uh, 
people? But, yeah, I remember this guy came up and he's like, are you like a celebrity or something? Because people aren't used to seeing stuff like this, but the mechanics of it aren't that complicated. When you break it down, it's easy for a girl to be receptive to a pretty girl. It's easy for her to agree to go to the dance floor. It's easy for them to dance close. And when they're dancing close, it's easy to start kissing, especially if the girl's telling her she's pretty and showing interest in that way. And then it's easy for you to be like in with the group instantly and then you can kind of direct the logistics and the objections, bring the other girl in if needed. So that's pretty much the summary. Did you have anything else to add? How, how has it been having 43 sums after not having any? <laughs> it's a very <laughs> extraordinary experience in life. Yeah, she anything, told me, anything else it seems like boring. <laughs> yeah, she told me yesterday, she's like, I'm pretty much like stuck with you now because like when I hang out with other people, it's like super boring. Like, like when she goes, because like, we're always doing like crazy shit here, like three sums and four yeah, it's sums. and like crazy. It's always, always having crazy. like tons of fun all the time. So she said it's like hard to go like do normal stuff in life now. Oh my God. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to go through that because not only are these other dating coaches not showing any receipts, not showing any infield, uh, no testimonials in most cases, they're, they're just fucking heroes just purely through verbals on the camera, mm -hmm. okay? But we're actually living the life. We're living with other hot girls. We have a bunch of hot girls in these WhatsApp group chats. We're having 43 sums in a year mm -hmm. um, out of, I think I need to calculate the, the, the total count for the year, but when we calculated before, I was at like 150 new for the year approximately, and about 34 of them were threesomes. So over 20% of the new closes in the past year have been threesomes, which is not bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn the entire game, A to Z, and uh, really, I need to point this to my mastermind student. I just thought of this because he was like, dude, I got a bisexual girl, like walk me through the game plan. Um, I'll put links in the description. I have other uh, field report breakdowns that we've done about threesomes and other threesome and foursome techniques. I have like four or five videos on the channel about that, so I'll put those in the description. But if you want to learn the whole process from A to Z, jump on a free 30-minute call with me, link in the description. And also subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new alerts and videos every day. And we will see you on the next video. I'm off to suck some nips. <laughs> Oh, by the way, there will be a OnlyFans soon, right? Honey? Oh yeah, we're gonna try to since we got the poll upstairs, we're gonna like set up. We're gonna do a test OnlyFans account where the girls, because they're taking pole dancing lessons, and they're gonna. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.